Melbourne Victory has been hit with more than half a million dollars in fines and threatened with a 10-point penalty following the violent pitch invasion at the A-League's Melbourne Derby late last year. Football Australia says the sanctions are warranted. Georgia Simpson has the details. Melbourne Victory has been hit with a $550,000 sanction. The figure is a combination of $450,000 in fines and damages and $100,000 in lost revenue thanks to sporting sanctions imposed on the club. While Melbourne Victory has been spared an immediate points deduction, 10 points will be deducted every time a fan misbehaves at a game and this will be in place for the next three seasons. Football Australia Chief Executive James Johnson said the harsh action taken is justified because of how disgraceful the behaviour was at the game. A number of spectators have been charged by Victoria Police. 17 people received match bans from Football Australia. Three were for life. The scenes at the Melbourne Derby were the worst witnessed in Australian football during the A-League era. We cannot let this happen again in our game. So we, belong, we believe that a strong sanction, both fin financial and also sporting, is warranted. Seating restrictions will also be imposed. Registered club members will be blocked from seating in the north end of Amy Park or behind the goals, and this will be in place for the remainder of the season and for the finals. This follows preliminary sanctions where ticket sales were suspended for home games. Restrictions on who can and can't attend home and away matches are also in force until mid-January. We need to remember that this sanction against Melbourne Victory is part of a broader response to the incident. As I mentioned in my opening remarks, we've issued preliminary sanctions on Melbourne Victory that have been respected. Despite the chaos caused from the game riots, Football Australia has ordered a replay of the match. The game stopped at the 22nd minute when angry fans stormed the pitch causing $150,000 worth of damage and injuring several people including goalkeeper Tom Glover. The game will be replayed in April from the 22nd minute mark.